Every year, graphics keep getting better and better, but sometimes a simplistic graphical game can be just as fun as the big titles. And there's a new one called Inverses, which is an arcade-style shooter, as well as a Versus style of simple shooter with just squares as the characters. But does this arcade game pack enough punch to be worth your time, or is it a novel concept that ends up falling flat? Inverses is a very simplistic arcade style of shooter. You control a square and you're attacking other different colored squares. The whole inverse gimmick is the fact of white and black squares. If the black squares end up consuming your character, well, of course, you end up losing a life. Your goal in the arcade mode is to see how high of a score you can rack up with the endless hordes of evil squares trying to attack you. The other big mode for the game is the versus mode. One versus one or two versus two, all being controlled by human players using either four controllers or two controllers locally, or you can actually play online against friends or against a random opponent. In this mode, it's a bit different from the arcade as you're not trying to get a high score. It's a best three out of five scenario, and the first bullet that makes contact with an opponent will defeat them, and the first team to be fully eliminated is the loser of the round, and after you win three rounds, you can then select another map or retry on the same one and start the game over. What adds the most strategy to the game is the way that the ammo works. It works like a revolver, where the bullets will actually rotate around the square that you're controlling. When one of the bullets is in the direction that you want to fire, when you end up hitting that fire button, that's the one that ends up going out of the square. You use triangle, square, circle, and X to pick which of the directions that you want to fire at. There are a couple of different bullet styles that you're able to either grab from an enemy dropping or that ones that end up reloading for your square that can change up the way you end up attacking. What ended up being the most interesting and fun aspect of the game was the maps themselves. You start off with only one for versus and one for the arcade mode, and as you get a higher score or complete a matchup on the versus maps, you'll unlock new maps. There's actually a total of 27 maps for versus, and unfortunately only six for the arcade mode. The various different maps, of course, will be rectangles, squares, diamonds, circles, as well as the amount of squares that are one color or the other on the starting point, as well as some of them will have more holes that you won't be able to traverse at all. Other maps will also have a mirror effect where you'll see multiple different things of the playfield going all at once. Like you'll be controlling only one square, but you'll get to see the same square moving and be able to control it on various other parts of the screen, which can be a bit confusing, but once you kind of focus your eyes only on the one in the center, you shouldn't have too much trouble and it adds a really interesting look to the game. The game can be very enjoyable, especially in the arcade mode, trying to get a high score and trying to rack up that multiplier and the big combos. When you destroy the enemy squares, they explode and any of the other enemies caught within the same area as them will also explode, causing chain effects, allowing you to rack up some pretty big points. The issue stem though that there is only the six maps, there's no story mode or anything like that to really tackle, and there's only a handful of unlockables, there's no other color schemes to unlock or even more maps or something else to just give you that little bit of motivation to keep on playing other than getting the high score in those six particular levels. A bulk of the game was definitely focused on the verses, so if you have friends, you'll be able to have a decent amount of fun trying to blast one another in the various different maps. There is the online portion of it, but unless you're finding a friend to play against, I was unable to really get any matches online as it seems unfortunately online is pretty barren. During my gameplay, I didn't run into any slowdown or crashing, freezing, or glitching of any sort. I did like the very simplistic graphical style, and some people may look at it and look at it being a bit plain, but I like the particle effects and the explosion effects on the squares as you're firing and destroying them. There's a lot of stuff going on on screen, and thankfully the game doesn't slow down one bit. While I definitely had fun with the arcade mode, it's one of those ones best experienced in short bursts, or if you can get some friends together for the multiplayer. The game is available on the PlayStation 4 though for $14.99, which is just way too much for what you end up getting. If there was more unlockables, a story mode, or just some more to the game, I could definitely see maybe worth your purchase. But as it sits right now, I'm going to be giving the game a 4 out of 10. But anyway guys, that's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoy.